Hey, welcome back to another YouTube video. You know, this question here, the title here, what are you attached to? It's in fundamental, well, not even fundamental, it's a big question to ask. It's a profound question to ask because it's, it's the reason why you've taken certain actions in your life. It's the reason why you have certain decisions in your life. And it's the reason why you're here, because you want to find that out. So what are you attached to? You know, when you think of that and you say that, what comes to my mind is a mother and their child. The first attachment that a child is um, introduced to, the touch of their mother. That attachment grows. As the child grows up, is introduced to other, other, other family members is then introduced to the world and other children and as that child grows up through primary school through high school all of those attachments play a huge part in that child's life in that young adult's life and then that adult's life so what are you attached to? what? the hmm. best way to ask that is what brings you comfort? what habitual action you take? And why? Why I ask that is because when we're comfortable, we associate that thing with peace, warmth, security, uh, relaxation, all those warming feelings. Something that we can attach to and just no longer worry when we're comfortable. We're relaxed. So what are you attached to? Attachment's an interesting word as well. Because to attach means you're a part of it. So what are you a part of? See, this YouTube video, the way I make my YouTube videos are interesting. I ask questions for you to answer, for you to think about your own life, and for you to realize something different, for you to see yourself in a different lens. That's what I'm trying to get at. What are you attached to? That question, as I said, it brings me, makes me think of a mother and a child, but it also makes me think of, as that child grows up, it touches to new things, and those new things, those make up the child's life. The attachments create the child's life, an aspect of it. One thing, um, one quote I came up with when I was 13, probably 13, 12 years old was, how can we truly be ourselves when we're always influenced by something else? These multiple attachments that we create how can we determine what is good and bad for us if we don't even think about it or acknowledge what we're truly attached to? Ask yourself, what are you attached to? This whole video has been saying attached, 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 but the other side to that is what are you no longer attached to? What have you distanced yourself apart from? And what? Only you know that and only you can answer, but it's a question I ask to help you realize and help you see what have you hold on to and what have you let go of in your life? And is that still providing positively in your life? What you have let go and what you've held on to? Is it still yielding what you need from it? Whether that's people, places or things? That's the question I'm asking. What are you attached to? I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. My name is Jack and Chef. I hope you have a good day, morning, night, or evening. Be sure to subscribe and share this video with somebody you think you'll enjoy. Thank you once more for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.